Hello, my name is Greg Smith. I am the Technical Training Director here at Tygo Energy. And in this video, I will show you the five things you can do to prevent a service call to Tygo Service Line when using the TS4 Module Level Power Electronics. Let's go. So the first thing we're covering is the installation order. All TS4s, regardless of model, must be installed in these three easy steps. Step one, mount the TS4 to the module frame. The TS4 may be mounted so that the cables are facing down or to the right or left side. Never mount the TS4 with the cables facing upwards. If you're using frameless modules, not a problem. You can take off these two metal clips and then bolt the TS4 directly to the rail. The next thing you'll do is connect the short leads of the TS4 to the module J-Box leads. And lastly, take the long leads of the TS4 and connect it to the neighboring TS4 on the next module. Now there are two different ways to mount it to the module. If you look at the back of the TS4, it'll have a message that says this side toward back of the module. We have relaxed that requirement and we're trying to keep up with the module manufacturers and the thickness of the modules as it gets smaller, the proximity from the TS4 to the back sheet starts to restrict airflow. So now you can install the TS4 either with the back side toward the back sheet of the module, or you can flip it 180 degrees so that the leaf uh, imprinted on the front of the TS4 is then facing the back of the module. Either way is acceptable. So safety voltage means that when the TS4s are in rapid shutdown, all TS4s, regardless of model, when in rapid shutdown mode, they will allow 0.6 volts to pass through. And this is important because it allows you to troubleshoot and make sure that the TS4s do enter and come out of rapid shutdown when they're supposed to. Now, what trips people up, particularly with the TS4Fs, which are the orange stickers right here, when you install these things in a string, and the installer goes to take an open circuit voltage measurement, they sometimes get tripped up. They expect to see full voltage, and they're only getting maybe 6 volts or less. Right? And so what you have to remember is that when you're using the Fs right out of the box, they are shipped in the off state, which means rapid shutdown is enabled by default. So if you connect 6 of them together, you should see... 3.6 volts when you're doing an open circuit voltage measurement. It is only until the RSS transmitter turns on and sends a keep alive signal to the TS4F or 2F that they will actually come out of rapid shutdown and allow full module voltage to pass through. The TS4s in the monitoring group, the O, S, and N, work the same way. They just don't use a transmitter. They use the CCA and the TAP. And if the CCA has power, it sends a command up to the tap, up on the roof, and the tap tells the TS4 O's, S, and M's to go in and out of rapid shutdown. However, the TS4 O, S, and M pass full module voltage before they are commissioned. Unlike the TS4 F's, you will get full VOC from that module and from that string, until you go through the commissioning process using the app with our monitoring group TS4s and discovery is complete. We have another video on commissioning that talks about this process. All right, number four are connectors. The number one thing you can do to prevent, well, first of all, to prevent a fire is to use the right kind of connectors with the TS4 products. This is a known issue in our industry. There are a lot of MC4 imposters out there, and just because the connectors click does not mean they are compatible. Tygo 
Everybody else is in the same boat. This is not a Tygo issue. So you want to make sure that you're using an MC4 compatible connector on the module with the TS4. Now, Tygo uses Stobly MC4s. And if you go to Stobly's website, they tell you what connectors they are compatible with. Stobly connectors. That's it. So, per code, as per the intermatability clause they have in there, if you want to be code compliant and safe and 100% sure that there will be no issues with the connectors, then the module connectors have to be stobbly because that's what we use on the TS4. Understand there may be some issues with that, uh, but that is what the US code says. Now, you can go get connectors or whips, and that will help uh, with the transition between the module connector and the TS4 connector. And number five, the last thing you can do to prevent a service call with the TS4s is to RTFM or read the fun time manual. That's right. We have all kinds of documentation, including quick start guides that ship with the TS4s that go into a lot of detail on how to install them, how to connect them together, particularly to the, uh, the uh, communication equipment. And there's even something on the TS4 itself to help guide you how to connect it. And we get service calls on this because people are not following our installation instructions. On every TS4, regardless of model, there is a little yellow sticker. And imprinted on that sticker, it says, connect short cables before long cables. But these little tags only work if you read them. And I've been on site and I've seen it happen where the installer just takes this, rips it off, throws it in the corner in the trash pile with the quick start guide, and then starts along with the rest of the installation. Sometimes they do it right, sometimes they don't. So that's it for this top five. If you have any questions, you can always call Tygo using the contact information in the video description. If there's something that you want to know that would be helpful for you in a video, another top five or anything, let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to oblige. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.